You're listening to the Standard Podcast, eye-opening for your ears. สวัสดีค่ะโบสาวิตรีนะคะ This is We Need to Talk Podcast, podcast talk show ภาษาอังกฤษสำหรับคนไทยที่ใช้ภาษาอังกฤษค่ะ Hi, you guys. Welcome to our show, and thank you so much for listening. ตามธรรมเนียมของ We Need to Talk โดยปกติแล้วเนี่ยโบจะเป็นคนบอกคุณผู้ฟังว่าเราจะคุยกับแกสของเราเรื่องอะไรบ้างใช่ไหมคะแต่วันนี้พิเศษสุดๆค่ะเพราะแกสของเราในเอพิโซดนี้ได้มาจากการแนะนำของแกสคนหนึ่งที่เคยมาคุยกับโบในรายการมาแล้วค่ะนั่นก็คือผู้หญิงคนนี้นี่เองพี่ Maryam Gray สวัสดีค่ะพี่มาเรียสวัสดีค่ะ It's so nice to have you back here with oh, us It's great to be back <laughs> I heard you brought a friend today. I did. If you call him a friend, yeah. <laughs> so, who is this person, the stranger that you don't know? Well, he's a friend of mine. He's lovely. He's a good driver, and that's all. That's all I could say about him. <laughs> more than that, more than that, it would be like too much, too painful. <laughs> so, what are the three things we need to talk to him about? First thing, all thing British. He's British. Our girls love the little British accent. Yes. Uh, he grew up in the UK, so therefore I think he could tell us about his life growing up in Britain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Second, oh, his artistic talent. He got some talent. This guy. <laughs> I saw him act, and that was in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> But he does have talent. Like he could draw really well. Mm. He's such a good artist. Like. Sculptures and stuff. You do good things like graphic design and paintings. Your face. My face. He face paint me uh, when we go watch movies, mm. like Star Wars. He paint me into Darth Maul, and <laughs> we went to see X Men, and he paints my face as Mystique, and I had to go in the cinema What? with my blue face. Blue face. Yeah. yeah, and I had to like sit. And oh, eat with him at food court. At, fu- at the food court at M Court here at Dartmoor with my red face, and people walk past, and they were like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and then I was just like, "The Star Wars fanatic, nothing more, nothing more." <laughs> it was yeah. So it's hard being friends with him. Sometimes you get abused like that, but it's okay. You know, just just I just think my, of myself as the. The medium for his Love art. I, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> And he carries his face paint around mm-hmm. in his bag. You do? He does. In, car, yeah. in his car, everywhere. Like just, just whenever he has the opportunity. If I say yes, he would paint my face. You could too if you want to try. He has oh. it in his car. We're gonna have to talk about this <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of his talents. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of this building like. With my face yeah. painted today. He, he wants to try Yoda right now. Like he, he's been studying on YouTube of like how to paint Yoda face. And our, the last yeah. thing that we're g o i n g to talk to him about today. Yep. The last thing we're g o i n g to talk about today with him would be traveling. He travels a lot. Uh, I've never gone with him <laughs> for a reason. For for a very good reason. <laughs> Why? Uh, <laughs> first of all. I like traveling by myself. Mm-hmm. Second of all, when he travels, it's all very well planned out, mm. including costumes. <laughs> what? <laughs> And I'm just like, I'm not gonna wear what you all wearing. <laughs> no, so like now, synchronized, synchronized, like the whole group, pretty much. <laughs> Color theme. <laughs> Denim colors, or or sometimes it's all like the same, exactly the same in like a whole big group, and I was just like, no, I'm not doing that. That's not cool. Oh, ho! ปรากฏว่าวันนี้เราเข้าสู่หมวดสองภาษากันตั้งแต่ต้นรายการทีเดียวเลยนะคะ So you guys ready or not? Here we go. P. m a r i a m ka, would you do the honor? Ladies and gentlemen, it would be my pleasure to introduce the guest for this episode of We Need to Talk podcast. He's a model, an actor, an artist, and a good friend of mine, Kieran Simon Young. <laughs> Hello, P. Kieran. Hello. Oh, เพื่อนเผาไปเยอะนะคะ Oh, you. Are you sure you guys are friends? <laughs> um, I thought we were, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> The first segment of our show is called "Been There, Done That." Okay. And um, I've heard that you spent the first 18 years of your life growing up in the UK. 
Yeah. And I'm I'm sure the one of the first things our listeners will notice about you on this cast is not your face, obviously, because yeah. they can't see oh, you. No. But they're gonna notice your British accent. Yeah. That's, that was terrible, by the way. Um, it was it was it was alright. It was alright. Yeah. <laughs> are, are you sick of people telling you like, oh my god, I love your accent. Oh my god, your accent is so sexy. Or like, how posh. Oh my uh, god, do people say that to you a lot? Um. Before they before they actually have spoken to me properly, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, uh, and then what and then what happens after? <laughs> and then it's like, oh god, get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> so t- take us back into the time machine and go back when you were living in the UK. Okay, what was the most vivid memory about your childhood? Where where in the UK did you live? Um, grew up in Cambridge. Oh. Which is like a small city about an hour away from London. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How was it growing up? Yeah, it's nice. It's it's a small, really pretty city, but um, it's really small, yeah. and then it's not very lively. So it's it's a nice place for old people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> um, I mean, as a younger person, not an older person. It was obviously. safe, like back in the day. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, it was all right. What about school? You went to school there, right? Yeah, yeah. What would your classmates describe you if I were to call them up today and be like, describes Curran? Oh, God. Um, what would they say? <laughs> Happy, crazy, and a bit of a plonker. Yeah. A plonker? Yeah, a nice way of saying, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could curse on this um, uh-huh. on this podcast. Okay, There's yeah. no ratings. <laughs> okay, all right, so a bit of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Love it. Oh my god. Okay, we might need to put a rating on this. I'm just kidding. No, we <laughs> our guests curse all the time. It's okay. okay. Yeah. What was your, your most favorite thing about living there? Um, because it's quite small. Uh, yeah. Just being able to like cycle around and go and see friends whenever I wanted, and it's quiet, so it's safe. So mum and dad would let me go wherever and whatever. So it was nice just having freedom to go around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were brought up in England, so I hope you could either confirm or debunk all these British stereotypes that we hear about so much. Ooh. Yes, it's probably questions that you might have heard before too, okay. and it's like it's probably people are like, "Oh, British people, uh, they must be like puddy," you know, like hmm. are they really puddy or they're overly polite and proper? I heard they they apologize a lot too. Ah, oh, um, puddy. Uh. I, I've heard it a lot, but I don't. I wouldn't class myself as a puddy <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, polite, yeah, with people I like just met. I have mm-hmm. to be. You have to be polite, don't mm-hmm. you? But when it's for people like uh, Mariam, don't really need to be polite, do you? No uh, wonder she was like, no, not. Him. She was mouthing <laughs> this to me. No, not him. <laughs> um, and apologetic. Hmm. Quite apologetic. When I'm playing badminton, it's like, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, right, oh, sorry, yeah. Ah. But that's when I like smash it in people's faces. It's like, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you're sorry? <laughs> sorry, but it's, not sorry. It's like you're saying it, but you don't actually feel it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next one. Are some of them snobby? Snobby. Oh, yeah. Like I can be snobby as well. Like what? Well, it just depends on how you're feeling it, and if you, if you're having a bad day and you see somebody who's like, mm. yeah, mm. Mm-hmm. so you can come across as snobby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the accent just builds on it as well. Yeah, because so. it seems so posh, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's you're like, like Ooh. <laughs> yeah. with the British accent, you almost have to like speak it looking down. Like, yeah, um, like you know what I mean? Like, like, I, like I could try doing it <laughs> looking up in it. It doesn't feel natural. No, yeah, yeah. You have to see, do that. It, yeah. it looks more natural yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> um next it's um are they super sarcastic? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh, the, good the, one. Uh, yes. Very very mm-hmm. like I don't think there's ever been a day that I haven't come like said something sarcastic so. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um are they really the masters of understatement? Like if they lose an arm are they going to be like, oh, like if you if someone loses an arm, they're like, oh, how, how are you feeling? They'll probably respond like, oh, stinks a bit. You know, it, it, <laughs> it's like the character and their humor, you know. 
Um, yeah, there's a, like a dryness, like a dry, dry humour. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's more of a joke than an understatement and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this one, you probably heard this one a lot. Do they say bloody or bloody hell a lot? I do. So, <laughs> probably. So. What's yeah. the equivalent to American English for bloody? Is it like the F word? Is it as no, that no, strong? No, or is it's it not like, that strong. Like damn. Like Probably, it's like, uh, yeah, like damn. Mm. Yeah. Is it? Or in um, between. Because there was an Australian traveling ad mm-hmm. that was banned in America. Mm. Because it's, it's a normal word for us in Australia as well. Oh. And in, it was like people at the beach and stuff. And then this blonde girl ran out, I think. I can't remember the ad very well. Ran out and go, where the, bu- where the bloody hell are you? Mm. Mm-hmm. And American freaked out. Yeah, because yeah. coming from America, I think when I hear the word bloody, I'm like, oh, it's it sounds very strong. Oh. It sounds strong. Like, but but I, I, that's why I think, oh, yeah. it's good for you to like debunk yeah, this. Yeah, it's not right? that strong. It's like, oh, bloody hell. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of yeah. like, damn. Yeah. Do they drink a lot of tea? Uh, well, I'm not a big tea drinker myself, but all my friends, whenever they come over, they're like, oh, should we have a cup of tea? And they love having <laughs> a cup of tea. It's just like, instead of... I don't know, some juice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I drink a lot of tea yeah, and I'm coffee. not British. Huh? I well, think, you should yeah, be uh, British then. Uh, yeah. Right? <laughs> should I work on my accent? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I sound you should try different. doing the interview all in a British accent. Oh my God, yes! <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> How are you even doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Um. So I've heard... That they drink a lot of beer. I mean, after all, the pub culture was from the UK. I think our listeners are probably like, I'm no. turning them <laughs> off. <laughs> no, that was all right. That was pretty good. Yeah. Um, beer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when I lived in England, I did drink a lot of beer. It's not just beer, though. It's like uh, the pub culture, like mm-hmm. drinking in daytime. And like going to the pub for lunch and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because apparently, pub Anglit is the top of the world. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Are they absolutely keen on queuing? Que- oh, I I love to queue. Like in Seven <laughs> Eleven, sometimes. I do too, though. Yeah, it's it's gr- if, it's good. But then you see other people who are not queuing, and it's like, oh my god, do you not understand the concept of queuing? Thank it's- you. That's, a, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> I think it's an American thing too. No, uh, I think it's just a normal thing. Yeah. yeah. Except it's not a Thai thing. <laughs> no, it's not at all. It's like you're queuing and there's like three people in the queue and then somebody comes in and they're like going straight to the other cashier. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I've noticed in Thailand it's getting better. Yeah, it like, is. It is. Like, I think yeah. like 10 years ago when I first moved around yeah. to the States, I was like, what is going on? Like in the bathroom, people are just like not queuing know, at yeah. all. But now I think they're getting better at yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, are they absolutely obsessed with football? Oh. Like soccer. Oh, football. Fo- it's football. It's not <laughs> soccer. <laughs> I know it. It's really not. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it depends on where you live. Lots of people, they do support teams where they're not from, but mm-hmm. there are a lot of people who support the teams that they live in that city. Do you support any team? Um, Cambridge. Have you ever heard of them? <laughs> Is there a team? There are two teams. What? Yeah, Cambridge United and Cambridge City. Never heard of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's how good they are. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Is the English food... Mm. No, I it's love good. British food. You love food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is the English food not the best for you? Like, apparently, you you love it, right? I Mary? love it. <laughs> I, I love... Well, I love the Sunday roast. Oh, is that more an Aussie thing? No, 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 no. Sunday roast is English. I love Sunday yeah. roast. I love meat pies. Mm-hmm. I love fish and chips. Yeah, it's, I love fish okay. and chips. Oh, God. Yeah, but they're really heavy. I love them. It's not them. like you can have them every single day, though. I could. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I prefer Thai food. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot healthier and nicer. What's your favorite Thai food? Everything. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, tom Kha Gai or Pasta. 
What? You know how to eat that? Yeah, I love it. That's my favorite yeah. too. Ah, yeah. And then pick a beat, some yeah. shit, stuff like that. Yeah. Dang! Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Assimilating. <laughs> 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 his only British thing is his accent. Yeah. The rest is like you're just fake, <laughs> <laughs> phony British. <laughs> All right, last section for this segment. Do you miss the UK, and would you someday go back and live there? I do miss it. I miss things about it, but I love living in Thailand. So I wouldn't move back, but I do like to go back and visit. Mm-hmm. So do you go back often? About once a year. To Cambridge? Yes. Ah, nice. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this sounds Irish. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't British. No, All I right. I was doing like Spanish. Oh, yeah. I don't even know why. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Like she said earlier, you're a pretty good artist. And you like to draw and paint, preferably people's faces. <laughs> When did you first know that you like to draw and paint? I mean, do you do other types of painting? Yeah, like uh, watercolor, acrylic, oil, uh, you whatever really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I started to like painting and drawing when I was like five. Mm. And my dad was an art teacher, so he would sit me down like. Forced me to learn perspective and like form and stuff, and it wasn't fun. At back the age then. of five, like from a young age, and then Dang. growing up, and it was like, this is two point perspective. This is real. yeah. So, mm-hmm. so it sunk in, and I'd have to sit in front of this drawing board that he was like, ding dang mara. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was it wasn't fun, but I liked it. So and I improved from what he was doing. So what type of work do you do? Um, Graphics, uh, like computer, sometimes animation, like logos, editing photos. Mm. Uh, can't remember really. The face painting thing. How did that come about? Oh, that was just tease friends. That's just it. Just for fun. And I, I want to see pictures. Are they actually good? No, no, the face paints aren't. But the yeah. actual paintings, yeah, aren't bad. The actual paintings are good. Yeah, but the face paint was bad because we didn't. Have, <laughs> it's the first, the first two times we didn't have the right types of paint. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it was just like really thick uh, pastel kind of things, and it's just like, just make her face as it, as mucky as possible. It was heavy, and it felt like lipstick on my face. Yeah. It was gross. <laughs> <laughs> I find a photo where you two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great. What type of paint did you use? Um, wh- on her depends. face. Oh, on her face. Yeah. Uh, I'm so, I'm so curious I'm, about this. I can't remember. I think it's like children's, like, uh, there's no chemicals, like ah, chemical free, like so watercolor, it's like, yeah, type of. But it's like pastel, silky pastels that you can just draw on her face. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just enjoyed making her look silly. It actually started because I used to play games with friends, like whoever lost would get drawn on their face. Mm-hmm. So we would write rude words and stuff on each other's faces. Yeah. And, and then it would just be funny looking at their faces. Mm-hmm. And then I used these to paint art on her face. <laughs> I <call> it art. <laughs> so I've heard that you recently drew the line stickers. Oh, yeah. For P. Hugo, who was one of our guests. Ah. And P. DJ, P. Pe, Wisawa, yeah. and yeah. DJ Port. Yeah. How did that happen? They know what I do for like graphics and stuff, so mm-hmm. they were like, "Can you draw me some stickers?" Yeah. How long does it take you to make it one set of stickers? Quite a while, um, because to start with, you had to think of what stickers they wanted mm-hmm. and have some other options just in case the the ones that they selected didn't work, and also other options because uh, Line didn't accept all of them. Mm-hmm. Like some of them had. Uh, they were a bit rude or a bit abusive, so yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So it took quite a long time. I want to see those versions. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there are some that, that I remember. Felix was like, "The world is not ready to see that." <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Can you um, say? I can't say. Okay, don't. <laughs> yeah, it was funny though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Last but not least, let's talk about one thing I heard you like, which is like P. Merriam introduced 
traveling. Ah, yes. Mm-hmm. How many countries have you been to, and what are some of your favorite places? Oh God. Um, Do you keep track? No, not really. And my memory is not very good. But I uh, roughly Italy. I love. Uh huh. I can't remember anything else. Barcelona mm-hmm. in Spain is really. I like arty. Uh, places like with history and culture that is like uh, like the Vatican at in Rome just all the art around is like whoa what type of a traveler are you are you a backpacker are you a shopper I mean we know that you like to coordinate outfits <laughs> but <laughs> oh god like, do you like to do adventurous stuff or like you know the type of traveler who go zip lining or bungee jumping or are you are you like the lazy type who just Lays by the hammock and do nothing. I, I'm, I'm that uh, type of traveler. I think I'm in between because I do like to go like walking around a mm-hmm. lot, but uh, not with a backpack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like in between. Not, not that lazy, but not that adventurous, and definitely not bungee jumping or skydiving because. I would shit a brick because I'm scared of heights. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah. Like, I, I think on TV it looked like, oh, I could do it, but then I, I feel like when I like, I'm there, I think I would, Have like, you done I it? would not, no, oh. no, I, I, I love my life too much. <laughs> I want to live. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a bad trip? Never a bad trip, but mm-hmm. some bad experiences within the trips. Yeah, mm. like uh, booking rooms that when you got to the hotel. They tried to say, "Oh, we don't have that room that you booked, but we've got this one here." And then you have to go to another hotel to have another room. So it's like, "Oh, well, we What? didn't book that." So having to like kind of fight with people, yeah, to to get what did you we get wanted. it? Yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I when I go ding dang, it's like oh, <laughs> scary British. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> What is your ultimate dream destination? Hmm. Maybe somewhere in America or Canada. I've never been to that side. <gasps> never. Never. Where in the U.S. or Canada? Like what city or what state would um, you like to go to? I've been told that New York is really nice because mm. she goes every year. Mm-hmm. Um, Canada. Just from seeing things and like researching, it just looks amazingly beautiful. Yeah. Uh, where else? I have no idea. The what is it? Uh, Grand Canyon? I want to go and see that. Oh, it's it's pretty. Yeah. Um, but don't go during the summer because it's, it's really hot. It's oh. really hot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. but speaking yeah. of Canada, my parents are actually going to. Well, by the time this airs, they just went. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. They go. They yeah. just went. Yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> speaking of Canada, my parents <laughs> just went to um, yeah. on a cruise. Um, they started ah. in Seattle in the yeah. states, and then they. Um, they went to Canada and then all the way to Alaska, ah, and they Alaska enjoyed well, it. Yeah. yeah, so maybe you could take that yeah. cruise. <laughs> yeah, they enjoyed it's like, it. <laughs> it's like uh, you're recommending me your parents' cruise, and they okay. really enjoyed it. Thanks. Did you go with oh them? yeah. Coordinate your clothes. No, I should have gone with them. Oh, you should. Uh, yeah. Have gone with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine her parents and then you just there the whole time <laughs> hi, with them hi, wearing hi, the same clothes. <laughs> wearing oh, yeah, matching, outfits. Matching clothes with mum and dad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> mum and dad, can I paint your face, please? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I need to catch a breath. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> All right. Time to say something smart. Oh god. Oh, here's your chance because okay. our next section oh. is called "What's Your Take On?" and I'm gonna give you three topics to choose from. Okay. I mean, <laughs> looking at these, they're probably not the most like they're not too serious. So, <laughs> I mean, you don't have you don't have to be like. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I just can't. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna recommend people listen to this and go back to listen to Pilex who goes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, it's two different types of British people. <laughs> so different, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. it's okay. Yeah. I mean, you're unique. <laughs> I'm unique. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean like <laughs> that's that's such a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like every person.
person is unique in their yeah. own way. Yes. Hello. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> I'm quirky and I own it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> so yes, back to what's your take on? I'm gonna give you three topics okay. to choose from, and we're gonna discuss it. Okay. You're gonna pick one. Okay. Okay. The first topic, of course, you're British, so all these three things are gonna be Britain related. Okay. Um, the first one is on the Beatles. Ah, the Beatles. The second one. Oh, should I do it in? Um, yeah, British try accent? it. Do it um, yes. The second one is on Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. The third is on. David Beckham. David Beckham. Yes. Okay. So, movie, music, book, or movie or sport? Oh. Does it have? To, okay. If it's like Salah, David Beckham is good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be Salah. Like Salah, I like him. Okay. Yeah. David Beckham, because I have a relatable mm. story to him. Ooh, I want to hear it. What is it? <laughs> when I was in like year eight, which is like, oh, how old is that? That's like seventh grade, right? Year eight, it's like seventh grade in the US. I think it's like mon uh like 13, 14? 13, yeah. yeah, something like that. So I decided like, oh, I'm gonna bleach my hair. <laughs> uh, so my brother like helped me. He bleached just the top <gasps> half of my head. Oh my god. And, uh, and it was at the time when curtains were in, you know? Like Yeah. Oh like god. Sack lang, man. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Curtains. So I bleached my hair. Went to school the next day, and it was the day that David Beckham had just bleached his hair. Oh. So it was like, I look like a big David Beckham fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> On the same day? No, yeah. Not only did I look really bad, <laughs> it was like, oh, my God, I just copied David Beckham. Great. Yeah. He was huge in England, Yeah, he too, was, right? he was. Yeah. So I did look like a freak for, like, the next few months. Yeah. Oh, you didn't even dye it back or anything. No, no, I just waited up. to cut it off. Yeah. Did people re- like? Did people put two and two together? Like, oh my god, you're trying to be, yeah, David. But I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but they thought that. So it was like, as much as I would say, no, I'm not. They're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our last section. Is called This is a Chance Where You Shine, my dear. Okay. You can be <laughs> Let's go for as it. intellectual as you want. Oh, this great. Is, this is where it counts. I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> it's called What If. Okay. So in this jar, oh. assisted by Miss Miriam over here, Thank you. are these hypothetical questions that you're going to pick one from the jar and we will discuss it. Hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Full and ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you could learn... Any one skill in the world without trying, like, you know, in the metrics, which would you pick? Ooh, any one skill. Yes. Like, you just pop, snap, and then you got it. Being able to talk like a normal person, maybe. <laughs> like, <laughs> having, ha- like, being able to, like, uh, present myself well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cuz that would help a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think we like you like for your quirkiness. So like I I appreciate. I definitely appreciate it. I think we all could use a smile on our faces. That's why and it doesn't yeah. talk much. Yeah, no. Outside. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. I, Cuz I I I'm, I come across quite dicky. It was like <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm yeah. glad you are talking with yeah. us. Because <laughs> I mean, lucky. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Uh. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here, though. Seriously, I'm like, I'm so glad our listeners get to know this side of you. Yeah, um, great. And hear you talk. Because, yeah. I mean, I, like other people, I think just seeing you, I, I like you look totally like the serious type. Yeah, and like, ying. you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. yeah. And like, you're totally personable. So, thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> and thank you, P. Miriam, for bringing oh, him. Oh, it was <laughs> thank such you a for blast. having me. Thank like, you, man. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I die. Oh, God. <laughs> like, 
Zero is all right. ถ้ารู้ว่าเพื่อนคนไหนรักภาษาอังกฤษชอบฟังภาษาอังกฤษและเรื่องราวชีวิตที่น่าสนใจของเซเล็บหลากหลายโบฝากแชร์เอพิโซดนี้ให้เขาฟังด้วยนะคะ Binge listen to all of our shows and episodes at thestandard.co/podcast. The Standard Podcast. เปิดหูเปิดตาเปิดใจเปิดโลก